Okay. This is take two. Take two, people. Quiet on the set. everybody my name is Jackie and this is my channel I just call it every day with Jackie if this is your first time here welcome now on this channel you'll be sure to find some blogs some lifestyle content and all the rest of my videos are all things beauty so if this sounds like the channel for you please consider subscribing and ringing the notification bell so you'll be aware each and every time that I upload a video and for my returning subscribers, it's good to see you as always. Welcome to today's video. In my video for today, I am doing a Shop My Stash rehash, which means I will be reviewing the products that I have um, been using for the last two weeks in my Shop My Stash, as well as demoing some of the new products that I picked up from Boxy Charm, Sephora, and Ulta. So if this sounds like the video for you, then keep on watching. Okay, so we're gonna jump right into the video. I have already filmed this video once. One of the eye looks I didn't like. And the second thing is that you guys may or may not know that my I record on my phone and I upload my clips to YouTube first because for some reason my USB ports will not take the footage from my phone and upload them on my laptop. So I have to send them to YouTube first and then wait till they do their thing on there and then download them onto my laptop and from there i put it into my editor and edit the video and then send it back to youtube so i go through a long process and i did that but my settings had changed and some of my clips went live i wasn't aware of it good looking out rachel for letting me know but i think I, what happened was i had uh, changed my setting when I was recording some of the shorts on YouTube and I have forgotten about it. So some of my clips uploaded onto YouTube, but when I brought them back to my computer, they had a file extension on the end and all I could do was manage to play the clip, but I couldn't upload them into my editor. So with all that said, um, some of the footage I didn't have. So we're gonna try to look again and I'm gonna to try to tweak a couple of different areas. And my technologist told me to load them to OneDrive. And I think I read that online. If you uh, upload, one of the options is that you can upload to OneDrive and it won't put that different file extension on the end. So, and I think it does upload a little faster on OneDrive. So we're gonna try that today. Been eating peanuts, trying to multitask. I'm cooking breakfast over there. Have a little bit of coffee right here. And yeah, we're probably gonna be up and down. So my face has been moisturized. Y'all remember, um, some of you may remember when I used to do my Shop My Stash rehash. And I pumped out a couple of those, but then I stopped doing Shop My Stash. So hence, so did the rehash stop. But we're doing that today. Now I'm going to prime my face. And this is one of the new items that I got from my BoxyCharm. And it's been in my shop, my stash. And this is the Touch and Soul. And this is the Pretty Filter Icy Sherbert Primer. I was still trying to get a take on this. Now, one thing I do like about the primer is that it is cooling when it goes on the skin. And when you kind of massage it into the face, it turns into like a water-like gel. And I do like that. Now, I still happen to have my card from BoxyCharm telling me about this primer. So it says, this gel primer has an instant cooling effect once applied that hydrates and preps the skin for makeup. I agree, it is very cooling. It says, the formula is silicone free with water capturing technology to lock in moisture and leave your skin feeling silky smooth. And that's what I was saying. I do like the way it turns into like a water consistency. I like that a lot. So this is um, what the primer looks like on the inside. We're just gonna scoop some out and apply it to the face. And like it says, it does have that cooling effect to the skin. And I really do like that in the mornings. 
Okay, so we have primed. Next, what we're going to do, you guys, I forgot to tell you what Shop My Stash Rehash is. I'm rehashing the products from my Shop My Stash, actually taking as many of the products as possible and using them in a look. So you can see how they apply. Um, and I'll tell you whether I like the product or what I've noticed about it or if I don't care about it. And you may be um, wondering about some of the products for yourself. They're not um, always new products, but you know I may have a product that you've been kind of iffy about, wanting to try. And if you see me apply it and see my reaction and see how I like it, see the demo, you may consider picking it up or you may say, mm, that's a pass for me. So that's what my shop, my stash rehash is. We're just rehashing the products that we've been using for the last two weeks and putting them together for a makeup look. Also, um, I am highlighting the new products for sure in this makeup look because I hauled some products from Sephora, um, BoxyCharm, as well as Ulta. So this Touch and Soul primer that I just uh, put on my face is from BoxyCharm. And like I said, I do like it. I like the how it is cooling and how it turns into that water consistency. It says it locks your makeup in place. Haven't necessarily noticed that, um, but I do like how it feels on the skin. Now this next product that I hauled is from Huda Beauty. And this is their micro shade brow pencil and i do have the shade seven black brown now i was a little hesitant to pick up this um brow pencil because you know was hearing people say that it breaks really easily well i didn't know if that was going to be an issue for me or not because i'm usually pretty light-handed with my products and i'm glad to report that my brow pencil has not broken on me not one time and i've used it quite a bit so that's good news if you're kind of light-handed if you don't go in heavily you shouldn't have any problems with this brow pencil now it does have the spoolie on one side it's just your typical spoolie and then you have your eyebrow pencil right here i'm not going to pull it up too much but you have your eyebrow pencil right here and we're just gonna go ahead and do our brows. I am gonna be carving my brows out because my brows need um, cleaning up really badly, but I don't wanna do it because I'm thinking about going to have them done. So I'm trying to hold out as long as possible. So I'll be cleaning them up in today's video as much as I can. And I'm gonna do one brow on camera. And of course I'll jump off and do the other brow and come back on. Using this Fit Me Concealer and Cafe. Okay, so I have my first brow done. I'm gonna hop off, like I mentioned, and come back with this brow finished. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back with both of my brows on. When I tell you that they gave me a run for my money, I had to go back in this one. They were really thick looking and probably still are, but like I said, I need to have them done, or I'm thinking about having them done. 
So now let's go ahead and jump in and prime our eyelids. I am going to use my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and I am scraping the bottle trying to get some out. And for the next eye, we're gonna just go in with our Fenty Beauty. And this is our Pro Filter Amplifying Eye Primer. I should have went ahead and put this on when I did my um, primer on my face because sometimes this has to sit a little while so it can totally dry down. But it should be okay because I'll just start with the other eye first. So the two palettes that we're using in today's video for our Shop My Stash Rehash or demoing new products, we are going to use this Huda Beauty and this is the Caramel Palette. I like this palette so much. And we're also going to use a palette that I'm really surprised that I like. And this palette is the Natasha Denona. Ayana palette. This is what it looks like. And the reason I say I'm surprised that I like this palette is just for the fact that it is kind of a cool tone palette and I don't normally gravitate towards cool tone eyeshadow. But like I said, I really like it. So this Huda Beauty palette has given me a run for my money. Um, but let's just go ahead and jump into the look. It does have this one metallic. It's a really glittery shade. It just falls out everywhere. And that would be this one right here. And we're probably going to use this one today. But then this one is a little bit smoother in texture than this one. And this one's a little bit smoother in texture as well. Now this, I hope this goes well today. I'm going to try something different. I'm going to go ahead and go in with this orange shade right here for my crease. I'm going to go kind of light handed to start out with. And you guys, I have not done eyeshadow in so long. When I started filming this the uh, other day, oh, I was like, so, I forgot to film an intro for my video. <laughs> I just was a hot mess. And the next shade I want to pull is, um, and this is where I'm not so sure, but we're going to just try it and see. So the next shade is this shade right here. We're going to go in with this one. I know some of you guys may be like, huh? I'm going in with this shade because, well, I'll, I'll explain. I don't want to make it too dark, though. Make sure I can see it with my eye open. Okay, so I'm going to go in the palette and pick up the shade right here. And I'm tapping that right on the outer corner and I do have a method for my madness Okay, so I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to grab my glitter glue and I will be using the NYX glitter glue. Okay, so the next shade, like I mentioned, that I'm going to go in with is this metallic. 
So we're gonna go in with this glitter shade right here. And I was saying in the last video that you may have may not seen the clip, that this shade right here, this little swirl shade, was really hard to pick up. Um, I don't know if this is meant to be a topper or what, but it's really hard to pick up. You really have to dig into it. So I'm going back with, in with this shade right here. Okay, and so now, this is why I went in with this deep plum-like color because in the last video where I just used the brown and then the glitter, it felt like it needed a little bit more depth right here. And so that's why I did it this way this time. And I grab my makeup geek brush and go back into this shade right here. We just need to define it just a little bit, and I am going to spray it. I think I went a little too high, so I'm going to bring this brown up just a little bit. Trying to keep it from traveling up. Okay, I think I'm just going with just a little bit of a smaller brush, still kind of a fluffy brush, just to make sure I can still see the orange. That we lay down because I don't want that to be gone. And I think that's it for this first eye. What I'm going to do now is dip right here because I went a little high and I don't want it to be lost. Okay, so that's it for this eye right here. Um, let's travel on to the other eye. So that Fenty primer should already be set. Okay, so remember this eye we're going in with our Natasha Denona palette. So what I've been loving to do when I am using this Natasha Denona palette, because I'm, like I said, I'm really not a cool tone person, <laughs> but I have been loving to go in with my Juvia's Face Bronzer. And what I like to do with the bronzer is just take this shade right here as a transition color. And I really love the way it looks. So we're gonna do that now, we're gonna dip in. Now I'm going to go ahead and dip into this shade right here. I just went in with the more fluffier brush. I didn't add any more product. And so the next shade that I want to use is this shade right here. It's a pretty kind of silvery, maybe, or mossy, perhaps, green. <laughs> and I'm just going to pick it up on my finger. Now what I have learned about these shadows is I can't really tell you 
I have a lot of Natasha Denona little uh, five pan palettes, but it seems like this one is so silky. These shades are so silky smooth. This one just glides. It just glides on. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the lid. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Let me make sure we clean this up. Believe it or not, we're done with this eye. We sure are. We're done with this eye. That was easy peasy. And so I am now going to, let me wet my sponge and we'll go into the two foundations that we're using in today's video. Okay, so before we go in with the foundation, I'm going to take some of this Cover FX. And this is just going to blur out my pores. And that's where I normally concentrate it, just in the pore area. A little bit on my nose. And then just tap it in, tap, tap, tap. And you guys, I am so excited to play with these foundations with you guys. So the two foundations for today's video, we have the Clinique Even Better Clinical Serum Foundation. And this has the broad spectrum of SPF 25. And I do have the shade CN116 Spice. We also have the Rare Beauty Foundation. And this is in the shade 460W. So we are using both of these. I'll put the Clinique on this side and the Rare Beauty on this side. Okay, we have the Clinique side done. What do you guys think of it? And now we're going to go in with the Rare Beauty. Now the Rare Beauty, I took it back and exchanged it because the shade that I had pulled a little red. This is what it looks like. It has the big doe foot, kind of like the um, what we see with some of our concealers. I'm just going to swipe a little on. And I didn't drag either of the foundations up underneath my eye. I'm trying to stop doing that as much. Oh, my face is just open on this side. Okay, I think this is blended in. This dries pretty fast. 
think it sets down really fast. Okay, so this is the Rare Beauty side. So this is the Rare Beauty side right here. Okay, so this is the Clinique side. What is it, the Even Better Clinical Serum Foundation on this side by Clinique. And here's the Rare Beauty side. That's all it says, Rare Beauty. And here we have it on this side, Clinique on this side. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump back in. Okay, so I'm just gonna stay uh, right here. <laughs> the next thing we wanna go in with is our concealer. So we have the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer by Too Faced. And I have the shade Chestnut. And I also picked up the Tarte Ultra Creamy Shake Tape Concealer. And I never did try the original shape tape because I just thought it was just too much of a heavier concealer. And in this one, I have the shade 53N. So these are the two concealers that we're playing with today. I'm going to go in with the Tarte on this side and then the Too Faced one on this one. My face is itching. And it does have the big doe foot. Just gonna put that much right there. I'm gonna just go ahead and put the Too Faced on as well. And it also has the big doe foot. This is what it looks like up close. And I'm going to go ahead and start blending out the tart. And it is, you, I can just definitely see how much creamier it is right here. You can just see it's creamy as opposed to the Too Faced. And it just blends out effortlessly because I think it's just because it's such a creamy formula. So for powder, we're gonna be using our Fit Me and this is in the shade medium deep. We're gonna dust this all over the face. For our under eye powder, I'm gonna be going in with my black radiance. And this is just a yellow powder. And I'm not gonna put the black radiance on first. I'm gonna do my face first because I think that's a part of the problem that I've been having with me not liking my under eyes. I think that the concealer just needs to dry it out a little bit more for my under eyes. I know the rule of thumb is to go ahead and set your under eyes before they crease, but really I got bigger fish to fry than worrying about creasing. Okay, so I have the powder on and now we're going to go ahead and Okay, so we got that done. And then what I like to do after that process, I kind of like to just spray a little bit. I ideally like to go in with, at this point, I ideally like to go in with my Fenty uh, Beauty uh, What It Do Makeup Refreshing Spray. 
But since it's not in my shop, my stash, I obviously couldn't use it. Okay, so now let's go in with our bronzer. And we're going to pick up the Juvia's Place uh, Bronze Bronzy Palette in Dark. And we're going to use this as our bronzer for today. We've already been using it everywhere else, so why not bronze with it? <laughs> and I'm going to take this brush right here. And y'all, I really haven't hardly used this shade right here at all. So um, normally I've just been sticking to this, but today let's go ahead and tap into this one. Oh, I thought there was a film on here. Oh, Jackie. Oh, that's so much clearer. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and bronze up. Now it's time for us to dip into this Kaja. And for our Kaja, we do have a blush. We have a highlighter. And we have a contour. Now let's dip into this blush. Now I do have two blushes. Like I mentioned, I have the one from Kaja and I also got the one from Rare Beauty. Now the one from Rare Beauty is in the shade Love. And the one from Kaja, this just says, this is the 03, 03 Mocha Malo Play Bento and doesn't say a shade name. So we're going to go in on this cheek with our Rare Beauty, has a big doe foot, and a little bit of do you? <laughs> this is so pigmented. Usually I'll dab it on my face, but I think today I'm just going to put a little bit on my hand. And then go in with a sponge. And something I just learned, you guys, <laughs> is that um, I used to just put my blush right on top of my bronzer. But they were, um, I was watching someone that say, you know, you put your bronzer, then you put your blush up a little higher. And that way you can actually see the blush and the bronzer and they're not mixed together. Who knew? Because my bronzer is right in here. So I'm going up just a little higher, but still want to kind of have them blend together. And I'm trying not to really take it on the apple of my cheek, but isn't this just such a pretty shade? 
is it that and it looks like I have such a nice glow on this side now I don't know if that's like the rare beauty foundation this blush and while I'm here I'll go ahead and take my highlighter out this thing is beaming and so we have our bronzer in this area our blush and now I'm gonna go up just right here with my highlighter right on top of the right above the blush but also touching the blush to kind of blend it in together it's pretty 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 I really like this side of the face so far I think it just looks so glowy and now we're gonna go in with the Kaja blush which is also a nice pretty blush I'm gonna go in with my Sephora brush and just blend this in and again trying to go on top or above the bronzer I feel like we got a glow going on over here too. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is what our faces look like. We are in the home stretch, people. Now, what we're gonna do is now hop back into our palettes and do our lower lash line. So far, everything is working out really well. Well, first, let me grab my eyeliner. And I'm still playing with this Marc Jacobs. And this is the highlighter matte gel crayon and this is in the shade earthquake so for our inner corner I'm gonna try to pick up this swirl shade again today if you kind of rough up the surface a little bit it does seem to pick up a little bit better and I'm definitely gonna spray my brush okay picks up much better when you and you guys like you guys know I don't dab into it I'm a person with my eyeshadows I lay the brush down but you have to kind of rough it up in order to get it to show up and pop and then I'm just gonna go in with I don't want to be so dark underneath so I'm gonna just go in with this brown Okay, so now let's jump to our other eye and we're gonna take the shade right here like these would be <laughs> y'all I, I kill myself I was gonna say these would be so perfect if they just had a mirror hello it does have a mirror and I almost said it, it's not a good one but what is wrong with me y'all send help so clear <laughs> So I'm going to use this mirror. So I really don't have a new mascara or anything. So I'm going to be using both my Fenty Beauty Mascara and my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. 
I'm not gonna use one on this side and one on this side. I use them both on this side and both on that side. But first I'm gonna go in with my lamb comb and just prime my lashes. And this is the Lamcombe Seals Booster XL. I'll let that dry just a bit. So when I come back, I'll have mascara on my top and bottom lashes. Okay, so I'm back. And I hope you can still see. I turned my ring light off because my phone needed a charge. So it still looks like you guys can see. Maybe bring in another little bit light. Not too much. Okay, so I didn't know about the um, lip that we were gonna do, so I just decided to let's just do a gloss because we have two different eyes going on. So I did get my um, lip liner from Juvia's Place, and this is the Lux Liner in the shade Brownie. And I have used this a few times already. And we're just going to line our lips. And next I thought we would just go in, like I said, with a lip gloss. And this is Morphe's Lip Gloss in the shade Scene Stiller. Before we do that, let's spray our face. I think this um, looks pretty good with the eye look. What do you guys think? So let's go ahead and wrap up this video. I'm going to bring you in just a little closer. Okay, and this is the eye look for today. The face overall. I just, I love this entire look. So that does complete the video today. I hope and pray that all the clips come out so you guys can see the look from beginning to end. But that's it for today. If you did enjoy the video, please consider subscribing to my channel, giving this video a thumbs up, and ringing the notification bell. It just lets you know each and every time that I upload a video. And share the channel because you know I don't mind. And lastly, please know that you are always welcomed and wanted here on my channel. And with that said, thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody, and have a great day. Bye-bye.